take our seats. I want to greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Yes, greet the person next to you on the left and the right. Tell him, tell him all, ah, you have been greeted by your minister. <laughs> yes, it is good to greet you because it has been long since I stood here. I'm still enjoying my leave. But I have come purposely for this day. So when you see me standing here, my leave is not over. And uh, the one who is taking over is our parish minister, who is doing very well. And I'm watching him wherever I am to see that all oh, is well and he is doing excellent. Let us appreciate him. I appreciate her for what she is doing. And as she put it on Friday, it was here, it was, it was fire. I don't know why many people, how many people came? Maybe I might be judging you longer. Maybe you, you attended this day because it was a great day. Where are the rest? Oh, we have come today. Tell the neighbor, welcome. <laughs> you have not done any mistake of not coming. But I know also you worshipped at home. You worshipped that? Oh, maybe there was also some praise there you are worshipping and uh, praising the Lord. Uh, we have announced about the, the AGM. Maybe there are many things that we do here and uh, we do not know about them. And this AGM is to enlighten us and to know where we are as a church and where we want to go. So AGM is even to ask questions that you have been uh, asking there and no one has been answering. You have an opportunity. So it is a great day on Eve, and also it collided with the induction of our minister who was here, my predecessor. So going to ha uh, work them out together because they are all important functions and we need to be here. That's why the service is starting quite early and it is one service so that after one service, after we are done with the service, we will not break. We will continue with the A GM. We are not saying we are not going to attend the induction. You can go and come. By 11, we will be starting. Our service will end by 11. Tell your neighbor the service will end at 11. And the AGM starts in May? Immediately. The AGM starts immediately. So that's the time we need to be all be here and know our church. We need to know our church, what we do. And it is important that when we are here, we understand. And we understand the things that we face each day. And because this is your church, uh, it is good that you attend the A. You are a shareholder. Tell your neighbor you are a shareholder. <laughs> yeah, you are a shareholder. So because you are a shareholder, you must be here to say what you want the church, where the church, you want the church to go because you are share owner and you qualify to be the AG, AGM. It is for all of us. So let us be here and uh, we have organized even how to attend the induction of our life so that we are also available in this place. I'm born again. The Lord has continued to take care of my life. And I'm directing this uh, morning. I have my wife with me. She can stand and wave to you. <clears throat> Let us pray. Our gracious and internal God, we are before thy presence, Lord, this morning. And we have come with thanksgiving in our hearts 
For you have done so much for us. We cannot tell it all. Jehovah God, we invite you now so that you may speak to us with the voice, with the language, and the insights that we can understand. Dear Father, as I stand before your people this morning, how I pray that you are going to use me as a novel vessel to come and disseminate your word to your people. Jehovah God, use me for thy own glory. In Jesus' name we pray. We have been looking at the whole week, then and then week, and uh, we have been looking on the theme of, uh, in, in the book of Joshua, chapter number 24, and the verses 15. It has been speaking to us, but I and my family will serve the, the Lord. I and my, and he says, we are going to serve the Lord. When you look at Joshua, you realize he was trained by Moses. And his training took 40 years. Took 40? 40 good years. So that he could match the standard of Moses, he had to go through a vigorous training, a vigorous training. This man, when Moses was almost going, he had now to handle the mantle to this young man. We call him young because Moses was owned by then. And he had to hand it over to him. You remember very well in Joshua chapter number one, it was not easy for, most, for Joshua to take this responsibility. He felt the shoe is quite big. I cannot carry. I cannot do like Moses. I have seen what Moses has been doing. He had rendered the people so well. He had achieved so much and he felt that it was not easy. Tell your neighbor it was not easy for Joshua. <laughs> it was difficult. He felt the task ahead is difficult for him. Unajua kuna mtu akiondoka kwa kiti hata ukiambiwa uchukue hiyo kiti unaona utawe utaweza kwa sababu that person has become an excellent pa. You are excellent in the work you are doing. So he felt the task ahead is not an easy one. But I tell you, the Lord encouraged this man. He encouraged him. And he told him in chapter number 1, verse 6 and 7, he tells him in Joshua chapter 1, be Strong and be strong and the Lord is speaking to, to Joshua. Be strong and courageous. And he repeated like three times in the same chapter. Be strong and tell your neighbor and be strong also yourself. You are going to make it. You are making it in Jesus' name. You are making it in this life. And you need to be strong and and the courageous, because we have a God who speaks to us, who encourages us, who always comes at the appointed time. So Joshua felt inadequate. Joshua felt, I am not able. I cannot serve like Moses. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. Are you feeling some inadequacy in you? Are you feeling that you are not able? Can you speak to the neighbor, Tafadhali? Speak to your neighbor. Murise, unajisikia aje kwa kazi ya buwana. How do you feel? How do you feel? When it comes to the service of the Lord, 
Even when you are being given a post, when you are being elected in a certain post, you feel this is not me. I cannot be able. But Moses in Joshua here is being encouraged by God himself. And he is told, be courageous, be strong, and, and the Lord assures him, I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will be with you. That is the assurance that we have. The assurance that the Lord God will be with us in our service. In our, in our serving. When you are serving the Lord, the Lord will never leave you. He will walk with you. And I want to tell you, this man who was fearful, the man who was fearing that the shoe of Moses was quite big for him, he cannot fit in it. I want to tell you in chapter number 24, ha, he is finishing very strongly. Can you clap for the Lord? He is finishing very strongly. He is telling them and calling the Israelites and telling them that what the Lord has done, he gives a narration. He gives a narration of what the Lord had promised them and what the Lord has done for them. The Lord conquered for them. The Lord gave them cities that did not belong to them. The Lord gave them this and that. The Lord did a lot. Hallelujah. The Lord has done through the guidance of this coward leader. Are you getting me? Ask your neighbor, do you have some fear in you? Eh? Yeah, you are feeling that this is too hard for me. This one I cannot handle. This is a big mountain. This is something that I cannot be able to do. But I want to tell you, like in Joshua, he finished strong. He finished. And he said, he gave even the direction. He did not just leave the people of Israel just like that. I'm preaching in the next two services. So, Niki Ubiri Nanguvu, Nitaisha Nguvu. Give me Saudi. Wana Sifiwe? Hallelujah. Siju Kama Indi or Mzuri, Goja Nijaribu. He Kosawa. Now, Nina Marizi Wanguvu, a English service. Naniko na service Ngapi. This is what the Lord is telling you. You are, you are fearing of an unknown. There is the fear of... Ask the neighbor if you have always had a fear of unknown. A fear of unknown. I do not know this route. I do not know what is going to happen to me. I do not know. But you can have... You, when you look at Joshua in the Bible... He was a rinder by excellence. He was a rinder pa. He was a good rinder. Even when they were sent by Moses to go and spy the land of Canaan, this man went there. And there were 12 men, 12, who went to spy the land. And then when they brought the report, they brought a very positive report. Very how the land looked like. How the land was full of plenty. How even the fruits of the other land looked like. He gave, they gave a report. But at the end, they gave a negative. The 12 of, the, of them, they were together in the report. But in the conclusion, or in the recommendation, in the reco, in the recommendation, tell your neighbor recommendation, it matters a lot. Recommendation. You know the ten saint in their recommendation. The ten in their recommendation is saying, hey, the people there are very big. They are like giants. 
we cannot be able to conquer the city. We cannot be able to capture the land. These are big, huge men. The ten and the two sent in the recommendation. In the? Ask the neighbor recommendation. In the recommendation. The two said, no. The other ten have said this one. But for us, Joshua and? Joshua and? They said, we can conquer. We can get them. They said, we have seen. We have seen those people. Yes. They are huge. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor they are huge people ahead of you. But have the spirit of Joshua. Have the spirit of there are huge things ahead of us. There are great things ahead of us. But let us have the spirit so that we are able to serve. You cannot be able to serve the Lord if you are not strong and Tell your neighbor, if you are not strong and courageous, you cannot serve. You have to be strong and courageous. And this is what is, we are seeing at the end of chapter number 24. This man, after he is narr has narrated what the Lord has done for them, he has given you that, he has given you that, he has done that for you. Hello? Speak to your neighbor and just ask him or her, what has the Lord done for you? He just can tell you one or two. One or two things. The Lord has done. So he has carried you like the Israelites. He, you have been led by rinders. The Lord has blessed you. So that I summarize because I don't have a lot of time. And I know you know this text very well. You know the text. You know the, the text. But we want to serve God in a very different way. Joshua served the Lord. And now he is concluding. He has called a meeting at Shechem. At, at Shechem. And he is speaking to, the, to these men and women of God. And telling them what the Lord has done. And then he tells them they have to make a choice. To make? Today, this morning, I want to tell you, you have to make a choice. And the choices have consequences. Tell all your neighbor, you have to make a choice. Make a choice. I do not know what choice you are going to make. But you, may, you need to make a resolve. You have to resolve today what you are going to do. Because you need to go out of your way. This man... Joshua, after he agreed that they can conquer these people, God gave him an assignment. God gave him a, an assignment. He, he was not given the assignment before. But the Lord gave him assignment after accepting, after he accepted that now I can, we can conquer. God just wants a willing heart. Tell your neighbor a willing heart. Be willing, be willing, be accept what the Lord is telling you. Say, yes, we can do it. Yes, we can do it. And the Lord is going to use you. So here we are making our choice today. And when we make choices in this life because we have to make them, we must also take responsibility. We must also take, <laughs> tell your neighbor you have to take responsibility. When you make a choice, take a responsibility. And you be ready to take eh? the responsibility like Joshua did. He was ready to take the responsibility. And he is confessing. This is a great Linda. When we go to heaven, we will see Joshua. Hallelujah. And even Moses. Great three. Ask your neighbor, are you a great leader yourself? Where do you read? You have been unable to read. You can see this man is starting reading from home. Reading from home. And he does not consult. And he, I have not seen where he consulted when he declared that uh, we, myself and my family, we are going to serve the Lord. Have you seen any consultation? Hello? 
Hai. Are you speaking to the neighbor? Hebu muulize, umesikia mahali? Ha, tumesoma mahali kama hapo. But because he was a good leader even in the family and to follow shoot. The family and to follow this man because he is a good Linda, people will follow you because what you have done. Because of the things that this man had done in the past. Everyone, even when he called the elders, even when he called the Israelites, all of them, they said, even ourselves, we have chose to serve your God. Can you clap for Joshua? Eh, now keep big my coffee. Uangaria neighbor muulize wewe unafuatwa na wangapi How many people are following you Because people will follow you not because of what you say It is because of what you do What impact do you have You might say a lot you are born again you are what you are what but the actions are contrary there Contrary to what you are saying. This man was an action man. He, we, whatever he did, people couldn't see. Hallelujah. He was a practical man. Very practical. Very. When they went to the battle, he was number one. <laughs> he fought in many battles. And he won every battle. He won every. So, brethren, this morning... Be like Joshua. Be like, be like Joshua. Yes, he is coming to an end of his life. But he has left a good legacy. A good? Hey, neighbor, what legacy are you going to live in Bahat? <laughs> what legacy? Ni legacy gani? Ni ate ulipitia. Ulipitia, unaandikuwa kwa vitabu, ulipitia hapa. You passed here. Hello? Hey, what have you done since you came in but? What have you done? Nikuja kukati kwa kiti na kwenda home. But we can see Joshua giving us a narration what the Lord has done. A list of things he achieved. And he is telling them now, yes. I can now go and rest with my forefathers. I can go and rest like Moses because I have done my work. Because I have done, I have done my work. My work is done. I have completed my task that I was given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuna kijana anasunguka katika kaunti zetu na ni kijana anaitwa Kebaso Molaha. Mumemuona huyo? Ako kwa social media. Ako kwa kijana ambaye ni wakili. He's a lawyer by profession. And what he is doing, he is going round and taking a stock and asking what the president is doing. Anataka kuona president anafanya kazi gani. Na president wetu ambaye tunampenda, we love this president very much. He has launched many pro projects in many ka counties. And the guy is giving us he launched this in 2016 when he was the deputy uh, is it deputy president? He launched this in 2022. He has repeated it again. And nothing has gone on. Hello? Are you listening? Uri is the neighbor. Where ni kama huko tunasema? Uta kuwa, uta anaraiziwa. You will be analyzed. And this guy, because he became a threat to the government, he was called several times to be off under a job. Si ati hana kazi, akona kazi yake. But kwa sababu, anaanika watu. Okay, rio shi yongeo na wendi yoku waneku waneandu. Ulea uga katigua wekaga. 
You launched this one, it was not done. You have launched this one, it was not done. So, even when we give you the scorecard, you might fail. To kikuweke a scorecard, you tahanguka too. But uh, brethren, let us choose to serve the Lord. Let us choose to serve like Caleb. Let us choose to serve the Lord. Staki kuka hapo, my time is up. We need to do this. We have told you, make a choice. Make, today make a choice. Whom you serve. Whether the gods you served, those gods who did not help you, today, choose a god of Joshua. Jo uh, a god of, and the god of Joshua will make you successful. Number two, you have to serve someone. You have to serve someone. In this life, if you don't serve God, you serve the mammons. You serve the devil. You have. They have two choices. So you have to serve someone. Serve. Make a choice to serve your God. Number three, you have to read by example. You have to read by, like Joshua, he was a law model. People emulated him. And that is why he didn't have any stress when he called the meeting. All people sang the same song. They said, we are also going to serve your God. We will serve your God. And if it is that, then people won't be with you. Be a person who is as a stand. Be as a person who stands firm like Joshua. Joshua was not wavered because he was told by God from the start, be strong and, and because of that, because of his encouragement, he understand, he knew where I needed to stand, what I needed to do, so that I accomplish the mission ahead. Point number one, make, uh, make a what? And I know you are meant. Number two, you have to serve. And number three, hmm? uh -huh. number four, eh? are we ready to be like Joshua? How many Joshua's are here with me? Joshua's, stand. Let us all stand. I know we are all Joshua's. Greet your neighbor and tell him, Allah, you are Joshua. You have to make people get to Canaan. Canaan has, is ours. Canaan is? And I know we are getting there in Jesus' name. Let's get to Canaan. Greet your neighbor well. Mwambie, be like Joshua. Serve the Lord. Serve. Serve the Lord. And serve him well. Serve him well. Watch a kupushu wa serve the Lord. Just let it be a free will. Service to the Lord. And I want to tell you, we are doing great things. Like Joshua counted. He underreached the end of what he achieved. Because God was an assigned. Let's bow hands and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You are a wonderful Father. You are King of Kings. The things you do, no man can do. Lord, you encouraged a fearful servant and he became strong. And he finished very strongly. We want to finish strong like Joshua. Eropas, oh God. We have a lot of fears in our lives. We are fearing of the unknown. But Lord Almighty, you are going to bless us. Like you blessed Joshua with the courage and he was able to make it. We honor you, Lord. We glorify you. There is none other like you. You are there. And do you feel there is something that you are fearing? Maybe because your job, your business, you are not feeling well. 
God is here. Lift up your right hand. We pray together with you. Just lift your hand. Father Almighty, you know the hearts of your servants. Alone, as they raise up your, their hands to you, I pray that you visit them, O oh God. Hear their cry this morning. Hear their cry, O oh God, as you heard the cry of Joshua. And the Lord, when you heard, you encouraged him and he made it. We want to make it in life, O oh Jehovah God. Pray for our businesses. We pray for our good health. We pray where we work, O oh God. There are those people who are fearing to be trenched, O oh God. There are those who are fearing, Lord, they will not get promotions. You are God and encourage us. Meet us at the points of our need, O oh dear Lord, for we are your servants. Hear our prayers. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Let's give a hand clap to the Lord. We can take